I'm Al Williams with Hackaday. This is a quick video to show you how the PDP-8i front panel worked. We're going to enter a little program using nothing but the switches and lights on this simulated front panel. Your inputs go into these switches along the bottom, and the lights, they aren't LEDs, show different things about the processor's internal state. The first six switches have to do with addressing more memory than the default 4K, and we won't be using those. The next 12 buttons represent 12 bits of address or data. The PDP-8 uses 12-bit words. You'll notice they're grouped in threes, and that makes it easy to key in octal or base 8 numbers. Oddly enough, though, DEC called the most significant bit bit 0, and also the switches are up for 0 and down for 1, which is backwards from most later front panels. I have all the switches up, which is a zero, and I'm going to click load address. You notice the program counter lights all turned off, indicating address zero. Now we're going to put the program in. I'm going to start with 7301. And deposit is backwards. You press it up, and now the program counter is set to one. The memory address is 0, and you can see the memory buffer lights show 7301. The next instruction to fill in is 7001. You can see everything advanced after pressing deposit. I'm going to repeat the same steps for 7430. and 7402 and finally 5001 And that's our program. You can set the address to zero again and use the exam key to step through and make sure it's right. Then you can set the address to zero one more time and press start. You can see everything flash and the link light, which is the carry bit, turns on and the CPU stops. If you press start or continue again, you'll run through one entire loop and stop because the carry bit is set and not cleared again, and that's what's keying off the stop. If you like, you can enable single step mode and step through instruction by instruction using the cont key. The program's pretty simple. It clears the accumulator and the carry bit, and then it increments the accumulator, checks to see if the carry bit is set, and if it is, it stops. If it isn't, it jumps back around to the increment. And so it's just a very simple loop. That's about it. The stop button stops, of course. And this is really a short program, but you can imagine how tedious and error-prone it would be to key in something substantial, even the short rim bootloader printed on the left side of the panel. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.